everyone. So over the last four years while developing games in Unity, we didn't like the fact that you have to do a lot of repetitive tasks in Unity. And so we've built a chat interface for Unity that allows you to eliminate and automate a lot of those repetitive tasks. And I'm gonna quickly show you how you can build your own game just using chat. And today I'll be showing you how you can use chat to create a simple project like this one and actually more advanced stuff as well. So the first thing we wanna do here is create six spheres with different sizes that all orbit around the center at different speeds. Let's see, one thing I'll pause here is the model starts thinking and instead of doing blunt changes to the project, we list out all the, the different steps that the agent wants to take on the right-hand side. Then the developer can decide if those actions are smart and cancel them if they're not. And at the end, you can actually also run all of them at the same time, which is what I did there. Another thing I'm doing here is I'm replaying back everything at double the speed, just to show this example. It was my prompt mistake, but all of the spheres are in the center instead of being at different distances off the center. So the next thing I'll do is just ask the assistant to fix this. So I move spheres to be separate locations. And the model thinks again, and then it's gonna list out those options and we just hit run all. And that wasn't far enough. So then in the next one, I ask it to do it slightly further. So there the model thinks again, and I run it all. And now just to test this, I'll hit play and we can see them spinning around the center. So just to recap here, the model had to create all of these objects and then create the scripts, assign the scripts, etc. all of that without us clicking on anything. Now, the next thing we want to do is make this look slightly cooler. We're going to create and assign textures to each of the planets uh, to make them look like basically planets for interstellar. And I'll just pause there again. So it creates all of those functions. You can click on them here. I'm clicking on them one by one instead of running all. And in the end, we have these nice planets with different textures all rotating around the center. So the next thing we're going to do is slightly more involved. We want to add a spaceship at the center of the scene and then be able to control the spaceship via WASD. We also want the camera to follow this. So let me prompt this in here. So here we can see it's adding all of those components, the script. It generated the model for us of the spaceship. And now using WASD, I can fly around. I'm moving it back and forth. And at some point I hit one of the planets and I start spinning wildly out of control. That was an example of how you can take a simple project to another simple functionality just using chat. But where Coplay is also very useful is in larger projects where you have larger teams. Uh, so the example I'm going to do here is for a game that serves 1.5 million users and it has over 40,000 different files. This game also has hundreds of items. And whenever you need to add a new set of items to maybe do some live ops for your game, you typically have to do a lot of repetitive processes to get this into your system. So a really neat feature that Coplay also has is it allows you to record that a, different, a bunch of different steps and then replay those steps with a uh, natural language. And this allows you to automate a lot of this uh, repetitive processes out of the system. So down here in the bottom right, you have this record button. I hit that, Coplay actually records all of the actions you do in the editor. So right here, I'm going through the diff different steps you have to do to add a new weapon to this specific game. You create a prefab variant, you drag and drop the, the meshes and the materials into the right places. In this very quick sped up version. I'm dragging and dropping all of those transforms into the right properties on the right, which is very tedious and you need to aim right. And you have to set this into the config to make sure it gets loaded when players want to access it. So just a, a bunch of different tasks that you have to do here. And as I mentioned, Coplay is recording in the background and I've right there, or the previous step was to stop that recording. What I'm doing here is actually adding a bunch of context into Coplay. So it has to look at specific specific files and, um, and objects. So you can see all of that down here in the right. And now what I'm gonna type in here in the chat box is just asking Coplay to repeat the same process that I just did for the banjo, but now do it for the katana and the fork. So basically adding two new weapons to our system using all the complicated steps we had before uh, and using all of the context of our, our project. And here you can see it lays out all of the steps correctly, um, starting with creating the prefab variant, creating all of those parts. And here I'm gonna execute them, or I'm busy executing them one by one. Creating the fork and you can see the meshes are created, assigning the materials. And you can see the, the katana here has actually changed now to have the proper material. And next we'll set the properties. So this was the, yeah, setting all of those transforms. In the end, I see that most of these steps are correct. So I just click on run all to go through it very quickly. And for a lot of these steps, Unity will need to recompile as you can see here, but that's fairly quick. And then in the end, 
we have our two new weapons. So the fork and the katana. And last check we have to do after this is just make sure that it's also inside the config that I showed you near the end. So I'm double clicking on the weapons config there. There we can see the fork and the katana added to the weapons config. So yeah, that was a quick demonstration of Coplay. I'm going to be posting a lot more as I make progress with uh, this tool. And follow me if you'd like to stay up to date. Thanks.